State officials say they have closed two campgrounds after discovering Triple E in Voluntown. Meanwhile, in Hartford, mosquitoes tested positive there for West Nile virus at a park. Channel 3 Shantae Passmore has more on how people are being extra careful. No movie at a park is complete without snacks, good company, and insect repellent spray. Or in this case, wipes. Well, they supplied us with the um, off wipes. We have our own spray that we travel with also. Tonight, we caught up with the city's health and human services passing out these wipes. At Keeney Park, no one is taking any chances. Earlier this week, state officials reported to Hartford officials mosquitoes trapped two weeks ago tested positive for the West Nile virus here. Well, most people get infected and don't even know that they're, that they're infected, right? It's, it can be mild, but we also know that for some people it can be serious, so we want to make sure that if you can avoid it, avoid it. There are no patient cases in the capital city. Symptoms typically include a slight fever, headache, rash, or feeling ill. Other parts in the state tested positive for the virus, like East Haven and Stamford. Not only should you safeguard against West Nile, but also Eastern Equine Encephalitis, or Triple E. Today, the state closed two campgrounds at Pechog State Forest after Triple E was confirmed in Voluntown. If an infected mosquito bites a horse, there's no hope since there's no treatment. People can also be targets, so it's best to use insect repellent spray. Avoid being out at either dusk or dawn when mosquitoes like to feast, wear light-colored clothing, and get rid of any standing water near your home. Back at Keeney Park, families are making the most of this summer night. Honestly, it's not really a big deal for us. We were going to bring our kids here regardless. We got our spray. We got wipes from the city of Harford that they provided. But I'm just saying, like, we can walk out our front door and get bit by a mosquito and be exposed to it, too. So why should we let something like that stop our children from having fun? Instead, this group is sitting back with their defense of spray and wipes not too far away. In Hartford, Shantae Passmore, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.